What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm going to be bringing you another gold farming video. And uh, before I begin to tell you everything about this farm and everything you should do, I'd like to go ahead and ask you just to like the video or comment or subscribe in the end if you liked it. Also, check out the link in the description below because I got lots of cool stuff down there, including like my entire recording setup and other stuff for cheap WoW items. Go ahead, look down below. That good stuff. It's that good good. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about farming before Legion and what you, or before Battle for Azeroth, sorry, and what you need to do. So, as many of you heard, and even in my last video I mentioned this, um, they're removing first aid. So, the prices on all the mats required for first aid are insanely high. So, like, frost weave, cloth, stuff like that, because this is all required for the achievement, and then after first aid was removed, it becomes a le legendary achievement. So, everything that you need for the achievement is being bought up on the auction house super quickly right now. So, I've been selling off cloth like nothing like over and over and honestly it's not even legion cloth items that sell the best it's the older ones that people need in order to continue such as like mage weed and stuff like that so today i'm going to bring you another cloth guide now these are the prices on my server and uh, that does not mean they will be the prices on your server but it's a good estimate so as you can see like i mean if i bought up these two obviously but i can get like you know four gold for every cloth that i get and uh, today's farm, we're going to teach you how to maximize that, where you can get like 2,000 to, you know, 2,500 cloth in only an hour of farming. So, if we look here, this is the price as it is. And if you look at that uh, region average daily sold, that's pretty good right there. Uh, especially for this old mat um, back in the day. So, if we can get a stack of this good stuff, we can totally, like, ruin the entire market. And keep doing that basically and just selling off that uh, cloth so today I'm gonna bring you with a, bring to you a frost weaving a frost weave cloth farm I do not know why I'm like stumbling over my words so bad but we're gonna teach you how to farm frost weave cloth super quickly super efficiently where to do it at what items you need all that good stuff so first things first get bear tartar if you don't already it's on your auction house it it doesn't cost that much either like look look how much that cost me it's like four gold for one and uh, this just makes it so every time you kill a mob, uh, you have a slight uh, movement speed increase after that. So you can go ahead and read it right there. Cause it just because in the comments on a previous video, I had someone ask, um, what is bear tartar? And that's what it is. So that's the reason we buy it. So I'm going to cut the video now, and I'm going to show you um, when we're at the location. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to, know about, uh, need to know about the farm. I'm sorry, I keep doing this, but we'll see you there. I'm cutting the video now, and I'm kind of depressed that I stuttered so much. Bye. All right, everybody, we are now at the farming location, and if this looks uh, similar to anything you've seen before, well, that's because it is. We are in Ice Crown in Northrend, and if you do not know how to get to Northrend, you take the boat in the major city. Uh, if you're Stormwind guy, your alliance, if you're not then you're going to have to take the Horde's equivalent, which is the Zeppelin, to Ice Crown, or to Northern. After you get there, you just take the flight path. Uh, for me, Alliance, it took me to Boron Trundle, just took the flight path to Ice Crown, and that's, that's how I got here. So the location we are in is this area right here. You walk up these steps, and in this little area. So I'll just go ahead and show you, just to make it a little bit easier in case anybody is confused with this whatsoever. It's literally right in this big area. You'll find these big steps. And yeah, like that, that's all you really need to know. So first things first, we're going to walk into the location. And the first thing I noticed right off the bat is there's a ton of mobs just stacked in here. So it is tempting just to try to kill them all right away. But don't do that. Pull every single one of them like this because they will all follow you. It's quite easy. You may encounter the occasional angry rogue because there is also a pickpocketing farm here. So if you are a rogue, you can pickpocket dice from this farm. But really, as you see what I just did, it's kind of all you have to do. Now, this farm is, well, was famous back in the day for being insanely, insanely lucrative in the fact that like you would just get like a stupid amount of cloth every single time. Now, now that it's been kind of nerfed and server hop doesn't really work the same way, 
Um, I've actually found almost kind of a way to abuse it. So now that server hop has been changed, it doesn't exactly work the same. You need to have another player in the group. So if you have a friend that's in a group with you, they can come to the same location and if they have server hop on and they're in a group with you, you can switch servers just back and forth, just, just like that. As you can see, I got 15 there. And you are able to server hop repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Now, if you don't have server hop, and you have to do it the old-fashioned way because you have no friends, then you all you do is you open up a second instance of World of Warcraft. Now, in doing that, you log into your, to your uh, account again, obviously. You, know. you join a group with your account, and you bring the other person, whatever you're all, to the same location, and then you just leave them AFK. That's going to log them out after a certain amount of time. But since you're in the group and they are with you, you can actually server hop and respawn these mobs instantly. If you don't have the opportunity to instant or force spawn these mobs through using um, server hop or cross realm assist or anything like that because the person is not in a group with you or for whatever reason, you can wait out the timer. They do have like a 30, 40 second respawn timer, but in having to wait out that timer, it does take down the viability of the farm. So with server hop, you're able to pull in about 2,500 cloth in only an hour with just using this method because you can constantly do it. If you are alone by yourself, it is going to cut that down quite drastically. As you can see here, uh, that was just one run right there. And uh, that was 27 already. And we look, I'll show you what the value is. So it's saying it's going to be like 69 gold, but honestly, I'm just going to buy out the whole market and reset my own price, And which you can actually do it with these markets now. If you, as you can see, these all respawn. If you go uh, into your auction house, and even Frostweave or anything like that, and Frostweave probably might not still be too expensive if your server hasn't like uh, accounted for the fact that it's going to be taken out, then this is quite a very good way to actually go ahead and like own the market on uh, just one item in the game. So I highly recommend you come do this now because after I post this video there's going to be a ton of people kind of flocking towards this area and if you are a rogue that is trying to use this area for pickpocketing, I'm sorry I did this to you uh, every single rogue ever, um, but that's this is just the way it is. This is honestly one of the easiest farms to do. Um, you can literally say AFK and wait for them to respawn, or if you got server hop, you're going to be always busy. And you see here, oh man, what was that weird, weird lag FPS drop, but whatever. So we alien them all down, just like that. Again, pick up more frost weave, and that's mainly into it. So if you do have server hop, you can just get, you know, 15, 20 cloth, like, out of each side, just over and over and over and over again, which I highly recommend you do. And that is, quite honestly, the easiest way to do this farm. If you do it the way that you see me doing it right now, that's obviously going to be a little bit more difficult and longer. But uh, it is still worth it in the end. And I highly recommend you come visit this farm and go do it now. Because if you do it like a week after I post this video, or you try to put it on the back burner, it's going to ruin the whole market and you're not going to have any chance to actually take advantage of this farm. So just trust me now. Get into it while you can because if you don't you're gonna regret it because this is one of those markets that once the pre-patch hits it's ruined it's it's gone like every everything about first aid it's done so you're not gonna have a chance to farm these items like after the pre-patch so I recommend you do it now before you cannot this is one of the things you need to do in Legion before the pre-patch listen to me do it and uh, that's that's about it for the farm. So if you like the video, I you know I just ask for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, if you didn't like it, I guess dislike. That's up to you. And also check the links in the description because I have um, links to some really cheap gear and stuff that can help like YouTubers get started. And uh, it's actually my personal computer setup. So if you want to like run this game as well as I do on Ultra. I mean, it's not super great because I don't have the best setup, but it, it does run very well, and I'm actually able to record, edit, upload, all that stuff is in the link in the description below, so please go check that out. Also, I had a couple comments on a couple videos of mine as to like what recording software I was using. You can leave now. If, like The farm's over. If you guys don't want to listen to me talk about YouTube, you guys can leave. Uh, but my real fans, 
post hashtag notifi notification squad in the bottom, like always. I'll go ahead and favorite your uh, comment. I almost said tweet there for some reason. But honestly, um, I use NVIDIA Shadowplay. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it's the easiest way to do the entire thing. And it, it's a free software, and that's how I record my videos, uh, you know, in every way. It's part of my everyday YouTube life. I use Shadowplay, and yes, it kind of does mess up, but uh, you can normally fix out those errors or edit them out, and it's not very common. So, yeah, that's just that. Um, if you liked the video, you know what to do. And I'll see every one of my beautiful subscribers in the next one. Bye, babies.